at this point, this is more of a fun exercise for me to see what questions ChatGPT get right and what questions ChatGPT get wrong. So, um, oh wow, that's a long set. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so let me start with that. Um, yeah. I don't have a good sense of how well it would do. So, um, ChatGPT tends to do well on conceptual questions, but it also tends to do not as well on some of the modern physics questions. So, um, we do something like this. Uh, I don't have a good sense if it'll do well or poorly because, um, um, <laughs> Let me ask and see. <laughs> yeah, probably did it. Wow, did it get faster? Huh. They must have changed the timing. It's I think I'm moving a lot faster. Um yeah, probably so that's a, yeah, that is the model answer. <laughs> and uh, and actually this is one of the interesting topics in relativistic quantum mechanics. Um, but I'll leave that there and then move on. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna do this piecemeal. And then, yeah, <laughs> let me use the first one. Um, Energy, uh, yes, you can. Wait, wait, uh, a free particle. Um, no, okay, no, you can't. If it's localized, then it means, um, uh, yeah, such as position and momentum. Yeah, uh, this is a bit of, um, well, energy time uncertainty. It, um, I mean, it, it is a thing, you don't have a formula, but the, the interpretation of energy time uncertainty is slightly different from position and momentum uncertainty. I'll just leave that there and leave more detailed explanation for upper division. Uh, I guess that is actually right. Um, yeah. Yeah, well-defined momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, we've covered this in the the simulations lab. Yeah, yeah. And that is really the reason why you can. Now, this one is different. So the answer is yes. Uh, you can have a, a precisely determined energy in this uh, bound state setup. So let's see if ChatGPT gets it right. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, you got it right. Uh, yeah, this is one of the reasons. I, I think basically oral exam is going to be coming back because um, at some point the ChatGPT will give A-level answers even for physics questions. Uh, yeah, yeah, energy eigenstate. Yeah, that, I don't have to read the rest. <laughs> Probably got it right. <laughs> All right, let's do question three. So two out of two so far. Does it mean, I mean, the whole notion of moving is, uh, um, it's a kind of the wrong question to ask when you are in a quantum mechanics context. Because in quantum mechanics, you don't really have particle trajectories. So let's see. Being instead of, does that mean it's in the sense when I'm moving, right? Means specific property of wave function. Okay. Wave function. Uh, this is not quite right. Um, yeah. It does correspond to solution of time independent Schrodinger equation. And yeah, probably the density is what remains constant. Um, 
Eh, I don't know if that's actually right. I mean, the, there's a standing wave solutions, but they are, you have non-zero momentum components, but the average momentum is zero. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I think it, this it, there it's overclaiming. Like if you have an oscillating solution like what you saw with the double well potential in the quantum mechanics simulation number two lab, uh, there in order to form that oscillating solution, it, that is not a, a, a stationary state. It's a superposition of two stationary states with two slightly different energies. So uh, I think this third paragraph is wrong. Um, and uh, here, uh, yeah, yeah. and the, the the distinction. So this is where when you so you know, <laughs> uh, at some point you have to be super careful when you are trying to talk quantum mechanics in English because um, some English words can be very imprecise. So when they say it means that the wave function of the particle does not change in time, uh, so this is correct. And whether this sentence is correct would depend on what they meant by the wave function of the particle. Because if you mean the solution to the full time-dependent Schrodinger equation for an uh, energy eigenstate, um, a solution to the time-independent Schrodinger equation, what it looks like is you have the position-dependent Schrodinger uh, solution, that's the solution to the time-independent Schrodinger equation. And energy eigenstates have this time dependence of complex exponential i times e over h bar times time. So if you mean the complex wave function solution, including the phase factor, then phase factor changes over time. Um, it's that when you compute the probability de density, you know, the complex conjugate times the function itself, that in that calculation, the phase factor cancels out. That's why that is not um, time dependent. But um, yeah, so, so let, let me say, um, so this uh, answer ChatGPT is giving that is wrong. Um, I mean, you know, in a student answer, I might have considered it correct enough, but ChatGPT doesn't have a feelings I can hurt. So, um, so, so far it got two out of three, right? The, the answer it gave, the, it had too many ambiguities. There were enough wrong things in it that I don't want to say it got to be right, especially when it's not actual human being. All right. So let's see. Uh, I, I think I don't like how they change the timing of this typing thing. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit jerkier when it's moving, but it's fine. Um, first excess state has zero value at the right. Um, this is actually zero. What's wrong with the reasoning? Um, particles are never at this. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what I put in the model answer. I guess um, I might start with the, it's the wrong question to ask. In the sense that, again, um, in quantum mechanics, particles don't really have a trajectory. Uh, I mean, it, it's not incorrect. <laughs> let's see. It's definitely, yeah, maybe, possibly, let's see. Probably different points, right? Uh, Okay, that is wrong. Zero probability density at a particular point, it does mean particle cannot be at that point. And in the sense that you will never measure it being at that point. So I think that's wrong. Let's keep reading. Uh, indicate uh, right. I think it's zero. Yeah, it's exactly zero. Uh, it keeps, I think um, there's a multi Python sketch about argument versus contradiction keeps a contradicting statement without actually making an argument. So again, this is uh, unsatisfactory so far. Duality, sure, that's a nice jargon. Super, uh, sure, it has a wave properties. Yes. 
again, it's an, uh, another contradiction. It doesn't say uh, it doesn't say why not. Why doesn't it mean that? Uh, because of certain uh, maybe yeah. So it's written uh, it's written five para no six paragraphs or you know five plus the introductory paragraph that where it keeps contradicting the statement five times and that itself isn't wrong because it's the wrong statement but it doesn't give an actual reason so um, without remembering what my model answer was uh, what i have to say is um, exactly explain what is wrong with this reasoning the i would say the main thing it's uh, wrong is to continue to think of a particle in a quantum mechanical context like a classical particle. It's not moving from one side to the other. It's the object. I had a quantum mechanics professor who uh, called uh, this new object a quarticle, spelled with a Q, Q-A-R-T-I-C-L-E, um, to kind of represent the fact that our classical notions of particle, that's not how real objects actually behave in especially in small enough scale where quantum mechanical effects are clear so um, so the fundamental wrong thing in this reasoning is um, in saying this it, the questioner is still assuming some classical behavior and really what you have to is you have to throw out everything that's classical because classical mechanics simply isn't right now, I am curious what I put for the model answer. I don't read my model answer every semester, so <laughs> I, I'm, I tend to be fairly consistent, so I probably put the same thing. Uh, let me, uh, I'm just on my second screen, I'm navigating to my model answer so that I can see what I wrote uh, many years ago when I first wrote it. Um, let's see, I'm like, wrap up, okay. Right, so this is my model answer. Right, let me just uh, minimize the screen to this, uh, just the question four. Okay. All right. So that's my model answer. Nose in particle in a box. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's based on classical misconception. Yeah, that would be the, my main point. Yeah, it does not bounce around the box. It's it's a, you know, stationary state. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not meaningful to talk about because when you make a measurement that will collapse the wave function, it'll change how it looks entirely. When you're talking about the, the stationary state, there isn't a fixed position along that wave. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so this is definitely wrong. And, you know, this is a really nuanced point about quantum mechanics. Uh, many physics majors who are earning their bachelors probably will get it wrong. So I don't expect a large language model to get it right. All right. Planck's hypothesis in quantum and the energy in what way is correct? Incorrect. Oh, I don't remember in what ways he was in wrong. Oh, why well, not? Um, I think this is meant to be in connection with the quantum uh, simple harmonic oscillator. So the incorrect part would be this one half. Uh, let me see. How, what, why is this answer so long? Um, <laughs> yeah, postulated quantum, yeah. It relates to energy levels of the system, right? Quantum. To a lot of now, Planck didn't say this. This comes out of the the wave mechanics, or I guess you can also do it based on the linear algebra. It, this comes out of the full full version of the quantum mechanics. Planck didn't get this part within his Planck law or whatever because he didn't need it. Um, this grid consequent right um, correcting that black body radiation. Um, yeah, sure. Um, I don't know if that would be necessarily incorrect. Um, he's at the beginning. Incorrect. Uh, it, it, I think ChatGPT, when it doesn't know the correct answer, it tends to repeat itself. Like this paragraph is basically the same thing as this just restated. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say based on just the length of it and how it doesn't get the get at the actual core part of the answer, you know, that Planck didn't anticipate this zero point energy. I'm gonna say this is wrong. So <laughs> by my counting, ChatGPT got two out of five questions right, and I think that makes uh, sense. 